And yeah, you can just like, don't look at me. Okay. Look at the camera. Yeah, right into the lens there. My name is Summer Ann Marie Peterson. I guess you could say I had the perfect childhood, growing up on the family dairy farm. She had such a way with the cows. We didn't even have enough room on the shelves for her 4-H trophies. I had an amazing senior year of high school. My boyfriend Joey and I were homecoming royalty. It was a perfect night. I scored the winning touchdown. Summer looked so perfect in that butter yellow gown. I was crowned butter queen at the state fair. I got into an amazing veterinary school. Little did I know, it wouldn't last. It all started one day when my friends and I hit up the local all-you-can-eat buffet. As I perused the offerings, suddenly I spotted it, glistening, shimmering, beckoning to me. I heard the siren call of those sweet, red, jiggling cubes. I started with one plate, then I went back for seconds, then thirds. I thought a stomachache was the only consequence. I had no idea. I didn't even think about Jell-O again until a few weeks later at my friend Cassie's birthday party. There was a cake, there was a piñata, and there were Jell-O shots. It wasn't even the alcohol that kept me coming back for more. It was the smooth, sweet, slippery sensation of each shot sliding down my throat. From that moment on, I was hooked. Turn down for what? The next morning, I raced to the grocery store. As soon as the doors opened, I beelined for the jello aisle. I was overwhelmed with the sheer variety of boxes. Unable to choose one, I chose them all. And she came in the first time with 47 boxes on the express line where I was at. I, like the first time I just let it slide because I just felt bad. I thought she was having like a bad day. She just needed this jello, so I'm like, I let her through. But she kept coming back. And I was like, I didn't know someone could eat so much jello. Jello wasn't just a food, it was a lifestyle. I consumed it, and it consumed me. Before, I, uh, I thought we were gonna get married. We had everything planned out. The wedding, the kids' names, the cows' names. Uh -huh. I even bought her a ring, yellow sapphire, to remind her of butter. But the ring sparkle paled in comparison to those shiny jiggly cubes, and I lost her. When Joey left me, I started neglecting my other responsibilities, my other relationships. Jello became my solace, my refuge, my escape. We knew something was wrong when we hadn't heard from her in a few weeks. You know, normally she calls every day. I blame myself. I should never have made that flan. Oh, oh, honey, 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 it's not your fault. You know, we never should have let her leave the farm. As a father farmer, you know, you always worry about the gateway drugs, you know, the marijuana, the giggle juice, the, the devil's lettuce. You never really think it's going to be the jello. I hit rock bottom when I started getting into the hard stuff. Eating it wasn't just enough anymore. I turned to smoking. then snorting. When I started running out of money, I started selling all of my 4-H trophies and my Miss Butter Queen crown. I never liked her anyway. She was never good enough to be Miss Butter Queen. I always suspected she cheated in the butter churning event. I mean, who can churn out five gallons a minute without being on some sort of sick drug anyway? Did you know Summer sold her crown? She did what? But even that money wasn't enough. I started looking into how to sell my left kidney. And that was when I finally knew I needed to get help. Today, I'm on step 14 of my 19 step program, and I'm finally getting my life back together again. I threw out my entire supply, cut ties with my dealer. I went back to the farm and reconnected with Joey. We're engaged now. Devil sugar can't control me anymore. Cut! That's a wrap.